Hey guys, you're watching Tank's Bricks. I'm Tank, and uh, I'm outside. <laughs> Something you don't see in the LEGO channel very often, huh? Uh, it's just, here in Washington, it's uh, muggy. Uh, it's 69, 70 degrees, and the office in there, before I built this Venom, uh, needs to air out a little bit, because it's even worse in there. So uh, today we're doing uh, set number 76230, if I memorized that right. I'll correct it if I didn't. Uh, Venom, buildable figure. And then when we're done building it, we're gonna do a, a comparison with the two other figures, Miles Morales and normal Spider-Man Peter Parker. And see how they're different, see how they're the same, what my final thoughts are on the three. Uh, so far, uh, Spider-Man and Miles Morales are pretty much the same, but little differences. Uh, I like them, they're okay, but you know, I see the peel for kids more than adult collectors like myself. So, yeah. Apologize for the crunching. Apparently, uh, nature thinks it's fall at the tail end of summer. I don't know what's going on anymore. I did a thing. I got white stuff, do a white background. So everything looks better. Maybe you can actually see the figure when I'm done with it because he's black and black blends in with red curtains horribly. So yeah, that's going to be fun. Let's get started. Uh, so yeah, like I said, 76230 Venom, 297 pieces from Marvel Spider-Man line released on September 1st uh, for $24.99. All three figures are $24.99. Uh, yeah, this should be fun. I'm excited. This one is my favorite. Venom is my favorite. Growing up, I always wanted my own symbiote, and I still kind of do. I think that's probably the dopest superpower ever. You can take a bullet with one of those things, man. So, let's get going. First difference that I found is uh, the first two figures, Spider-Man and Miles Morales, they're only two bags. This one has three. There's two. One, because the body is done, which leads into our next differences. Uh, already, skeletally, it is totally different because he's wider, muscular, more muscular, I should say, and his head arches forward. And also on top of that, heads on the other two figures were the last thing he did. This was the last thing in bag one you did, but here it is in bag one.
ladies and gentlemen, there he is, Eddie Brock, Venom, and oh man, I've been waiting for a figure that was built different, and saving this one for last was a good idea, because yeah, it is built different. Uh, just the obvious, he's wider, um, build technique to build the body was way different to make him wider. Uh, trying not to bump the table as much, but you know, everything's printed still. That trend continued. It's all printed pieces, no stickers. Uh, these pieces are not symmetrical. So figuring that out and making sure that you're not putting the spider's legs on backwards was a little difficult at first, but once I figured it out, I got it down. Uh, that is both on the front and on the back, same spider, same pieces, just reversed and uh, it's still a ball joint inside the waist so he can turn 360 as I showed but there's no movement up and down. Uh, the head, um, like I said, was done in bag one and it's on a hunch instead of on top of his head or on top of his shoulders, sorry. Uh, it's hunched out in front. Um, the shoulders. The shoulder plates are different pieces than the other two figures. These ones are the same piece that the head is made out of, just not printed, so just solid black. Uh, they still move a little bit, but not nearly as much as the other two figures do. Uh, the ball joint on the inside of the shoulder is different. It's just a 2x4 brick with the ball on it. Uh, instead of the peg with the Technic ball point in it. Uh, even right down to the kneecaps. The kneecaps, it's the same idea, but it's built differently. Uh, I think the only thing that's the same is the elbow joints. The elbow joints are still those classic hinge pieces. Uh, the knees are the same, and the feet... Okay, so there are some differences, but the feet are built about the same, same idea anyway, uh, but different. Uh, thighs and calves are built different. Kneecap, same idea like I said, just different build technique there. Um, the only thing that I'm going to say I'm not impressed with at all is I think the jaw. So underneath here, it does move up and down and the tongue moves up and down, but the teeth are one solid printed piece on here, so if you're looking at it from more of a top-down view, you don't see them as well. They're there, but like I said, you don't see them as well. And it's held on by a bar that's barely on. Like, they give you just, just enough room to clip that in in there. So, maybe it could have been done better, maybe not, I don't know, that's just me. Um, other than that, I am... Definitely happy with this. Definitely my favorite of three. Uh, don't know how I could compare it to Iron Man because I don't have that one at the moment, but this is awesome. Uh, the kids will probably enjoy this one just like they enjoy the other two. Um, ever since I've been doing this, they've been wanting their own, so and they've been waiting for me to do Venom. They're like, come on, Sam, do Venom. So it's done. It's done. All right, so here we go. We got the three of them standing next to each other. So I can tell better in person that Venom is definitely taller, even though he's built to be more squat. Uh, and he is definitely more wide. <laughs> uh, it makes Spider-Man and Miles Morales there look very skinny. Uh, yeah, I mean, if you're thinking about picking these three up, pick them up. Like, you see him, grab them. $24 each. And that's the funny thing, too, is Venom is just the same price, even though he outpaces them. Uh, just looking at Miles Morales' piece count, 238 pieces, to Venom's 297, almost 300 pieces. And they're the same price. So that's pretty good. Um, and then Spider-Man's, the one on the your left, he is 258 pieces. So, pretty good value. $24.99 each one. So 25 bucks. You can have all three before tax, $75. If you want them, get them.
get them. All right, so there you have it, folks. Set number 76230, Venom, all done. Plus Spider-Man and Miles Morales, all done. So now we can move on to something like, I don't know, Lego Star Wars? Uh, next up, we'll be doing uh, uh, August 1st release of Lego Star Wars Jedi Starfighter uh, from Attack of the Clones. It's supposed to be like a 20th anniversary set. Uh, and then after that, we're going to be comparing that to the original 2004 Jedi Starfighter, Obi-Wan Starfighter. So uh, that should be great. Uh, leave your comments, uh, questions, concerns, any of that in the comment section below. I will read them. I will answer them best I can. Uh, if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button. That'd be great. Give this video a like. Uh, check out my Instagram page. I'm not able to post the link on YouTube yet. They've changed their policies and I got to send them like my driver's license and stuff. That's weird. Uh, but I will at least attempt to link it in like the pinned comment or something and see if I can do that until I can figure out how I can put my own links in my own descriptions. So, uh, thank you for your time. Thank you for watching. I will see you next time. Goodbye.